there, welcome to my curls. Welcome to my bathroom, y'all. My name is Renee, and today I'm gonna to talk about my curly gray hair. I'm often asked how I style my curly hair, what products do I use on my curly hair, and how has going gray changed my curls? And I'm gonna answer all of those questions for you in the video today. I'm gonna to jump in the shower, wash, dry, and style my hair. I'm gonna explain everything I do as I do it, and I'm gonna show you all of my products. And along the way, I'm gonna explain how going gray has changed my curls. So stay with me y'all, and we're gonna fix this hairdo. Alrighty, I'm out of the shower. I have my hair up in my husband's old t-shirt. Why do I do that? <laughs> because I find that using a towel soaks the water out of my hair too much. And if I use an old t-shirt, it really doesn't soak the water out. It keeps my hair super wet. So I just put it up in my husband's t-shirt. Now, I did wash my hair today with my favorite purple shampoo, Joico Purple Balance Shampoo. I've never tried another brand. I don't know how this compares. My hairstylist, Betsy, recommended this to me at the point that I needed to start using a purple shampoo. And I like it. It does what I want it to do, so I've never wavered. So this is my favorite purple shampoo. I used it today along with my Matrix Total Results Mega Sleek Conditioner. Now, if it was a day that I was not using my purple shampoo, I used the Total Results Matching Shampoo, but I always use my conditioner, and so today, this was my combo. I left the purple shampoo on for about three minutes, I'm impatient like that's that is all the time I can stand there and wait and then I just love this conditioner because it's snotty and slick and I feel like it stays in my hair after I rinse it and I just love everything about it and I've been using this for a really long time so this was today's combo I'm never able to record a before and after video when I use the purple shampoo. It just doesn't show up on video great. You all have asked me many times to show a before and after, and it just doesn't work, y'all. The, the camera on my phone just can't catch it. But, okay, so time is of the essence when my hair is up. So I'm gonna get going. This is what I do. Have a little chip clip, and I'm gonna turn my head over. I cannot stand hair, wet hair, or products on my shoulders. So I just put my t-shirt right there while I'm doing my thing. I have a continuous mist spray bottle. Watch this. Ooh. See how much that puts out? And I'm going to just re-wet my hair because I need my hair really, really wet. So any water that did get soaked up, from the t-shirt, I'm gonna get it out. This thing is awesome, y'all. So I'm not really disturbing my hair, I'm not running my fingers through it. I combed it in the shower, and that's it. I'm gonna let my curls stay intact. I'm drippy wet, so that's all I need. Now I'm gonna use my Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel. I'm gonna put a dollop in my hand about like that, and one squirt of my Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum. Beep, just like that. Rub it together, flip my head and scrunch. Okay, then I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do a smaller dollop. I just feel like the crown needs more attention, so I just scrunch. And can you hear it? That is how wet my hair is. Super wet. Just gonna scrunch it in. Never raking my fingers through my hair. Next product is my favorite product. Catwalk. Curls Rock Amplifier. This is what keeps my hair, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk and do, whoops. One good pump, about like that. This is what keeps my hair 
put throughout the day. My curls don't fall. Got to flip. Flip and scrunch. Flip. A little bit more up here. But this is the product that keeps my curls set all day long and helps them kind of get in big bouncy loopy curls as opposed to individual stringy curls and again it's still wet hear it here's my trick you paying attention i'm going to take this hair right here and i'm going to tell it which direction to go i'm twisting it around my finger and telling it how to start the curl pattern and it flips water everywhere If I don't tell my curls where to start, they make their own decision and can be nuts. So I'm gonna pick some up here. See, I'm just flipping it, twirling it, and letting go. This area, see how it automatically wants to go over my head? It's my natural curl, curl pattern, but I don't want my part that drastic. So I'm gonna take this and bring it back down over here and go the other way. And I have a little thin spot right here. Can y'all see that? And by doing this twist, it allows me to kind of cover up that thinning area a little bit with my hair because I can tell it which direction to go. Now I'm gonna do some in my crown. Just a few. And I might pick up a couple in here. I don't know. I'll do it different every time. All right. Now that it's done, scrunch everything together. And I'm ready to dry my hair. So now I'm ready to dry my hair. And this is my favorite hair dryer. Talked about it in so many videos. This is a bed head diffuser hair dryer. It just makes sense to have this short little hair dryer. I don't have my arm extended all the way out here. It has this big wide mouth. I can just set my hair in it and it just does the perfect job. But I'm just gonna dry my hair upside down about 80% of the way. I'm gonna take my towel off now. Grab a chunk of hair and just kind of set it in the hair dryer. about 75% dry. I get this spot right here never wants to dry. It's always the last section. I have to work on it for a bit. But because my natural part goes this way, I'm going to finish my drying it with my head hanging in this direction because this is where I kind of want my hair to set up. And I know that all of this is going over and that's what I want. Woo! My hair 85% dry, but I'm gonna turn my hair dryer off, leave my head kind of hanging to the side like this because I want this part area to be really full and I find that if I let my hair cool down with it all flipped over, it does a way better job than if I stand upright and let the hair fall while it's still warm. So I'm just gonna hang out like this for a minute. Yeah, right in here. Still a little wet, that's okay. Okay, so my hair is cool. I'm just gonna stand up normal and it will just naturally fall on its own. Now, I got one crazy right here. I know this is not right. I should not have all this hair over here. I wanna leave it alone. I want it to cool and set the way it is. And the reason why I do that, if this hair right here clearly is, needs to fall down, but if I pull it down right now, it just gets kind of limp. It doesn't have all that bouncy curl like the rest of my head. And so I'm gonna let it 
dry and cool going in the other direction. And then when I do pull it down, it's gonna have a lot of volume in that area. I want volume in the crown and the sides, otherwise I get real flat, like right there in my part. So I'm just, I'm just gonna let it be. I'm gonna go put on some makeup, do around the house for about 10 or 15 minutes, let this continue to air dry on its own, then we'll come back and finish up my hair. Okay, I'm back. It's been about 10 minutes, long enough for me to put on some makeup and have a phone conversation. You can see how this parted area has stayed over the top, which is exactly what I want it to do. My hair is still a little bit wet and I need to get on with my day. So I'm gonna hit it again with the hair dryer, my bed head, just kind of in some wet spots and speed this up. I'm gonna let that cool down. Then I'm gonna finish styling my hair. Just the finishing touches. I'm just gonna kind of pull this down and fluff everything up and then I'm done for the day. Okay, so my hair is cool. My hair is dry. I'm going to finish my hair and then I'm gonna answer all of your questions about how going gray has changed my curls. A lot of you all who have curly hair and are going gray are finding that the gray is making your curls do something crazy. And so I want to tell you what it's done for my curls and we'll just kind of talk that through in a minute. I'm going to look in the mirror first of all. See what my shape is. And y'all, I need a haircut bad. It has been seven weeks or maybe more since I have had a haircut and I'm not getting a haircut for another three weeks. Um, yeah, so my hair is just huge right now. So I'm going to try to check it out and all I'm going to do at this point is kind of pull my hair up. Just get a little, break it up just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take, I've got dry hands. I'm just gonna kinda crunch my hair, scrunch my hair. My hair is not crunchy. None of the products that I put in my hair make my hair crunchy. They do kind of make them set. And I just wanna break that up just a little bit so I can put my hair where I want it. Okay, so see how I have this big part right here. And this hair doesn't need to go this way. It makes me look really lopsided with a bunch of hair over here. And the reason I love to let my hair dry and cool with this big drastic part in it is for this reason. Watch this. I'm going to get a hold of this hair, which, let's see, let's try this one. I'm going to get a hold of this, which doesn't need to go there. Very gently pull it apart. Let's get this one. And I don't know about this one. What do y'all think? Mm, we'll get him. So if I just kind of give it a scrunch. All right, I think I'm gonna call it y'all. I'm gonna go with it. This is my hairdo for the day. I feel like my hair routine is very simple. It's very quick. It only took me about 10 minutes really to dry my hair and it's so easy. I know and I see women all over YouTube who have curly hair who have such a an extensive in-depth routine to get their curls to look good. Y'all, I don't have time for that. I just have learned what works for my hair and I've learned to just kind of except where my hair falls every day. It may look different tomorrow. It looked different yesterday and that's okay. My hair is not gonna be perfect every day. But this is what I'm sporting today, y'all. I still have some colored bits. It's like the ends of everything is still just dabbed in a little bit of color right up here. I'm ready for the brown to go. And you can rest assured when I get my final haircut, you will be there with me. We are going to be celebrating, y'all. We're going to have a big party at Betsy's the day that she's able to finally cut off these little bits of hair. So how has going gray changed my curls? 
This is such a tough question. It really is because my hair was so dry and damaged when I was coloring it. It was like straw. My curls didn't want to curl. They would fray out at the ends. I had sections that were like around my face that were way more damaged than areas in, my, in the back. And so I really don't know what my natural hair would have been. I have lived with damaged, fried curls for 20 years. So yes, when the gray started to come in, my curls did freak out just a little bit. Like they didn't know what to do because they were healthy curls and I wasn't used to, used to healthy curls. So I don't think that I can say my gray curls were bad or good or better than my other curls because my only comparison was bad damaged colored curls. But once I got about six, seven, eight months in to the gray, and I had a huge amount of gray right here to really see what was gonna happen, I realized that my gray hair started taking on its own and correct curl pattern and blending in with my colored hair. I had some time where I thought my gray hair was gonna be straight. I had an amount of time where my gray hair was just nothing but frizz. I had an amount of time where the new gray hair coming out put like this halo of fuzz around my head because my colored hair had broken off, I was missing hair, and when the new healthy hair started to emerge, it wasn't long enough to have any length on it, and so it just kind of stuck out like a halo of frizz and fuzz. But that eventually passed. That hair, because it was now healthy, grew longer and intermingled in with the rest of my hair. And my gray hair is so, it's so soft. I wish you could just feel this. I have never had soft hair. My hair has always been like straw. My gray hair is so soft and so loose and bouncy and healthy and happy. Ooh, it was a really good decision to go gray. Just strictly speaking about quality of my hair and the healthiness of my hair, going gray has been a really good move for my hair. So I hope I answered your questions about how I style my hair. And I hope I answered your questions about how going gray has changed my curls. The best thing to remember if you're a curly gal and you're going gray is you're just gonna have to give it some time. You're gonna have to give your new gray hair time to grow out just a little bit, get a little bit of length on it, and kind of figure out its own life and its own curl pattern. And I really think that you will be very pleased with your new gray curls. I certainly am. If you have any questions about my curls that I did not answer in this video or about my gray hair or the products that I use, just comment below and ask me. I'll gladly answer you. And I'm gonna put links in the description box below to all of the products that I use on my hair. So thank you all for joining me in the bathroom today and um, doing a hairstyle video. That was kind of fun. I always love to talk about my gray hair, y'all. And I love it that you all like to hear about my hair too. So until next time, y'all, good luck with your curls. Good luck with your gray. You can do it. And I'll see you later.